Let's talk about home renovations and whether you may or may not want to take on that next home renovation project. Uh, a part of my business, I do offer a free service helping people work through these complex uh, situations. It's not really an easy decision. If you take a look at the chart just behind me, this was something put out by the National Association of Realtors. You've probably all seen charts very similar to these. To be honest, I find them to be quite misleading. It's just such an oversimplification of a very complex question. You'll notice looking at the chart, they're suggesting that by putting new flooring, new wood flooring into a home that you'll get 118% back on your money for doing this upgrade. Meanwhile, a kitchen upgrade, much lower return, in fact, to be a negative return, making 67% of your money back on a renovation like that. Behind me, you can see a home that I just recently sold in East Courtney. Absolutely love this house, by the way. The, the, the potential just through the roof. Uh, the, the carpet, very much original to this house. You can even see in the photo the traffic lines from where people frequently walked in the house. No question, needs new flooring. In this photo, you can see a property that I actually own up in Cumberland. It's a rental property that I've owned for quite some time. The floors in this home look a lot better in the, the photos. They are starting to become a little bit dated. People are generally looking for a lighter finish to the floors now. Definitely looking for a much flatter finish as well. You can kind of see just uh, how much uh, shine these floors are picking up. They are harder to keep clean and just not really in style anymore. Beyond that, it's got minor scratches here and there and just not looking their, uh, their best. Definitely going to be a much lower return on investment if you are going to be ripping those floors out to replace them with something else. You can probably already start to see why graphs like these become really poor predictors at the type of return on investment you'll make uh, doing renovations. A more complicated uh, factor is a uh, target market. Who's the most likely purchaser for your home? If it's a young buyer, they're going to be more likely to take on renovation projects as compared to a senior buyer that is typically going to be looking for something that's a little bit more move-in ready or fully renovated and therefore willing to pay more for uh, that work to already be done. So that's really going to skew your return on investment. Another really big factor is location. If you're in a high-end location, somewhere like Crown Isle, for example, it may make sense to start replacing slightly worn items. Whereas if you're in a less expensive neighborhood, uh, you're probably only going to want to focus on the things that need to be replaced or possibly just the lower cost items. When it comes to doing the renovations, it's also really going to change uh, where you should be spending your money and what types of materials you should be putting into that home. Uh, again, less expensive neighborhood, you're going to want to put in less expensive materials, hoping to get your money back out of that investment. Whereas for the oceanfront home, you can probably go as high end as you like. Uh, if you ever need any help or advice regarding which renovations you should take on, feel free to reach out to me at any time. I also have a full list of contractors that I recommend, electricians, plumbers, flooring companies, uh, etc.